Hi, it's Andrea, environmental health nurse, and today I want to talk to you about EMFs, or electromagnetic fields. So earlier this week, I attended a digital marketing boot camp, and our assignment was to bring in an object that we use in our business on a fairly regular basis. And the purpose was just to get some practice taking pictures that we would then post on social media. So I brought in this gadget here. And when the picture was posted on the large screen for everyone to see, uh, there were some questions. So the lady next to me asked, you know, what is, what is that for? And I mentioned, oh, this is my electrosmog meter and I use it to read EMFs in people's homes. And I just said this thinking that everyone by now knows what an EMF is. But her next question was, what is an EMF? And that's the purpose of this video. So EMF stands for electromagnetic fields and Wiki defines it as a physical field produced by electrically charged objects. <clears throat> now, EMFs can be natural or they can be man-made. An example of a natural EMF is the Earth. The Earth has a natural magnetic field. Also, the light coming from the sun is a natural EMF. If you're an animal, you have no problem seeing this e these EMFs. Um, if you're a human being, however, you cannot see them, you cannot touch them, you cannot taste them, you cannot smell them. They are invisible. Now, the other class of EMFs are man-made, and these are generated from items like your cell phone, uh, your Wi-Fi router, your smart meter, the electrical appliances in your home, and the one that gets me is the baby monitors. These items all emit um, EMFs. And the man-made EMFs are the ones that are problematic and can impact your health in a negative way. And we're not gonna spend too much time getting into that. Um, the purpose of this video is just to make you aware of what an EMF is, if you haven't heard it before, and um, to just get up to speed on what is happening and how they can impact your health. So 5G is on the horizon. It's been implemented in some cities around the world. Um, and if you're not familiar with 5G, I highly, highly, highly suggest you go to my page on Facebook at Live in Prevention. I post a lot of articles about 5G and how it may impact our health negatively in the future. Um, also on my website on the resources page, so liveinprevention.com. Uh, there are a list of reputable websites that I uh, have that will talk about 5G and EMFs. But if you've heard about um, driverless cars and um, virtual gaming, these all require a five generation, hence the G, network. We currently are running on a 4G network and it just is not strong enough for technology such as this and so we need to make it even more powerful. Well, the problems with man-made EMF, they are already more powerful than the ones that exist in nature. And so you can see the potential for um, the health problems that uh, we are cur currently experiencing and can further experience in the future. And so I, I encourage you to just check out those websites and my, my Facebook page at Live in Prevention just to get caught up to speed. Well, that's all I have for today. And like, comment, and share, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.